okay so welcome to this video and today we are going to talk about the accuracy for an impurity into a drug product so as per ICH guideline the accuracy can be defined as the the closeness of agreement between the conventional true value and the found value so let us understand you know in case of a drug product how one can calculate the accuracy for an impurity and share is the presentation so as a part of today's video i am going to walk you through the seven different point and the first point is the impurity specification so first and foremost before conducting the accuracy study you must understand what is the specification for the given impurity and there could be a possibility of having two different specifications one is a release specification and one can be a shelf life specification so understand what is the release specification and what is the shelf life specification so to explain the accuracy study in today's video i have considered impurity a with the specification of not more than 0.5 percent at its release level and the shelf life specification for the same impurity is not more than point not more than 1.0 percent the second important point is you need to understand the taste concentration so how the taste is prepared and here is the example so drug substance equivalent to let us say 100 milligram is diluted to 100 ml so what is the exact concentration in terms of ppm it becomes 1000 ppm so our taste concentration is 1000 ppm now so we understood two important things one is specification for the impurity and the drug concentration in the taste preparation the third important point is we need to understand what are the accuracy level that we are going to prepare so as per the ICH guideline Q2AR1 we need to have minimum three accuracy levels one can be let us say LOQ 100% and 150% so at each level you need to prepare a test solution into a triplicate I mean the accuracy solution must be prepared in triplicate at each level so that altogether you will have nine determinations for the accuracy study so let us begin with the first accuracy solution that is the LOQ. So how you are going to prepare the accuracy solution at the LOQ level hmm? and let us say that you know impurity present in a sample at about LOQ level or there is no impurity present into a sample. See there can be a different possibilities now. Let us assume that in your test sample that you are going to use for accuracy study that doesn't contain impurity a or there is a presence of impurity a but at around the loq level so in that situation what you can how you can prepare the accuracy solution so you can use the same test solution and then spike the impurity at a at around loq level so this is the way you can prepare the accuracy solution at loq but in case let us assume that your test solution your test contain the significant level of impurity a let us say the limit for impurity a is not more than one percent and your drug product contains the 0.8 percentage of the impurity a see your accuracy is let us say at 0.05 percent so it is not practically possible to you know differentiate the amount found from 0.8 percent to 0.05 percent so to make it practicable you can think of diluting your test solution so that the concentration of impurity will be around at loq level so that you can differentiate you can easily calculate the amount found or amount recovered so the diluted test solution plus the impurity at LOQ level can be spiked to prepare the accuracy at LOQ level. The third point could be, you know, in case if you do not want to use test solution, you can always use placebo and spike the impurity at LOQ level in the placebo. Now the placebo quantity must be equivalent of it present into actual test preparation. So the placebo will not have the API into it. The example now so let us understand with this suitable example how to prepare the LOQ accuracy solution 
so assume that your loq is how much 0.05 percent so if the loq is 0.05 percent let us calculate the concentration in ppm for impurity a at loq so what is the 100 percent concentration in this case it is the concentration of our test solution and the test solution concentration if you remember it is 1000 ppm so if 1000 ppm is 100 percent then 0 0.05 percent will become how much it will become 0.5 ppm it will become 0.5 ppm so you need to spike impurity a into a test solution at actually 0.5 ppm so that it will become 0.05 percent so this is the solution i am going to prepare so accuracy at loq can be prepared by using test solution if you want to use actual test solution or diluted test solution or if you want placebo you can also take the equivalent amount of placebo and then spike now 0.5 ml of 100 ppm impurity a stock solution and then you are going to dilute it to 100 ml which is your actual test dilution so if you calculate the actual concentration of impurity a it will also become 0.5 ppm so 0.5 ml of 100 ppm diluted to 100 ml will exactly become 0.5 ppm you can check onto the calculator so let us understand you know the second accuracy uh, solution preparation that is the 100 percent level so how you can do that test sample plus impurity at 100 percent level so you need to consider the stability spe specification in this case so what is the stability specification it is one percent so this one percent is going to become your 100 percent so let us understand with the example now and in this example we have considered that the stability specification of the impurity a is now one percent or 1.0 percent so what is the concentration of impurity a uh, at 100 percent level we know that the test concentration is how much it is 1000 ppm just look at here so the one percent with respect to uh, 1000 ppm is going to become 10 ppm and then you can easily understand you know what is the spiking requirement so let me show you so the accuracy at 100 percent test uh, uh, accuracy at 100 percent can be prepared this way you, you take the test solution may you know take the uh, drug substance equivalent to 100 mg and then spike 10 ml of 100 ppm of the impurity a stock solution and then dilute to 100 ml so why dilute to 100 ml because look at here your test solution is diluted to 100 ml so you need to follow the same test solution preparation for the accuracy solution preparation also so <clears throat> now if you calculate the concentration of impurity a spiked how much it is 10 ml of 100 ppm diluted to 100 ml will become 10 ppm <clears throat> and that is our exact requirement we are supposed to have the 10 ppm as the spiked amount of concentration at 100 percent accuracy level and that has been achieved now let us understand how to prepare the accuracy test solution for the 150 percent accuracy level so the test sample plus impurity at 150 percent level and it has to be with respect to now the stability specification so let us understand with the same example and in this example we know that the impurity a at the stability specification is how much it's one percent so the one point so the 150 percentage of impurity a at stability spec will become 1.5 percent now let us calculate the concentration of impurity a uh, in ppm at 150 percent level and it will become 15 ppm because 1000 ppm is equal to our 100 percent so the 150 percent will become 15 ppm and then you can prepare the accuracy solution at 150 percent by measuring the 100 mg equivalent of the drug substance means actually at the test solution concentration level plus you can add 15 ml of 100 ppm of impurity a stock and then dilute it to 100 ml as per your sample preparation procedure so just understand how much of the ppm of impurity a has got into this solution 
15 ml of 100 ppm diluted to 100 ml will become 15 ppm you can calculate with the help of calculator so we have actually achieved the 15 ppm requirement at 150 percent accuracy level for impurity a now let us understand the calculation part so accuracy is calculated with the help of percent recovery so percent recovery is amount found or rather than amount found i would like to say that amount recovered hmm? amount recovered divided by amount added into 100 100 so now let us understand let us understand that you know what is the uh, percent recovery at loq the amount added is let us say 0.51 ppm and amount found or i will say amount recovered is 0.48 ppm so the percent recovery is, is equal to 0.48 divided by 0.51 into 100 that becomes 94.1 percent similarly let us understand the percent recovery for 100 percent amount added is 10.24 ppm and amount recovered is 9.62 ppm so this is the calculation formula and we got to know that the percent recovery at 100% is equal to 93.9%. Now in case of 150%, let us say amount added is 15.16 ppm and amount recovered, amount recovered is 14.87 ppm. And then the percent recovery is equal to 14.87 by 15.16 into 100 that comes to be 98.1. So what is the difference between amount found and amount recovered? See in this case amount recovered is more important because amount found is just what you know the how much ppm I got out of the accuracy study solution. So for example let us understand that at 100% level I am spiking how much ppm 15 ppm I am spiking 15 ppm of impurity a externally I am spiking the 15 ppm of impurity a externally so let me take this another point the point number eight uh, to understand you know the calculation of amount recovered hmm? so the amount recovered is always amount found minus amount present in unspiked test unspiked test so this is the definition of amount found so amount found oh, sorry amount recovered amount recovered okay so amount recovered is equal to amount found minus amount present into unspiked test solution so this is the calculation formula to calculate the amount recovered so let me explain you further with the help of simple example let us assume that the uh, amount found is 15 ppm 15 p amount found is 15 ppm at the 100 percent accuracy level but you also have the small amount of impurity present into unspiked as such test solution and let us assume that it is 0.5 uh, ppm so how much is the exact now amount found amount recovered amount found minus amount present into unspiked test solution so amount found is 15 ppm amount present in unspiked sample solution is 0.5 ppm so that becomes 14.5 ppm so your amount recovered is 14.5 ppm hmm? so this is very important and you must consider the amount recovered during all these calculations so i have corrected this with the amount recovered so I hope you must have now got an overview of how one can perform the accuracy for an impurity in a drug product. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will meet you soon with such kind of useful and informative videos. Till then, take care and bye-bye. See you soon.